people back to Commentary Plus, where plus is more. I'm your host today, L Train's Finest, playing some Call of Duty Black Ops 2. This isn't any type of match for me. This was pretty cool. This was great because I was able to actually play the way I wanted to play. And what I'm saying is I was able to play the objective and at the same time gain a good score. Now, it may not be the epic Mark of J's score. It may not be the greatest of what you may think, but for me... It was great, and it's all about me because you're here at L Train's finest commentary. So as you see here in this commentary, I'm cleaning up people. Pretty much what I did is I stuck to the outside of the map every once in a while on occasion. If I saw my team was beast in the middle of the map, I'd go into the middle of the map because I felt safe because I had a good team. And that's why I, you know, I wanted to address to some of you guys that by having a really good team, it will improve your skill as well. Because, you know, you feel safe, you feel kind of cool, you're like, alright, you know, your team's beasting, alright, I'm going to beast too, you know that they're going to kill somebody that's coming up on you. Now, right here, I failed, sorry, please forgive me for the hellstorm, fail, that was a mistake on my behalf, I shouldn't have made that mistake, that was, you know, irresponsible, got cleaned up right there with a sniper shot, you know, he had to show me how it was done, had to let me know that he was there, and the fact that I can't be the l Train's finest that I would like to be, because I would like to go, you know, straight up like, you know, 100 and 0, but unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do that, I'm not going to be able to do that because, you know, I can't predict everybody else's movements. Now notice, once again, we're back here at sea. Let me go ahead and clean this guy up. I, was, I wasn't I was able to really capture this objective right now because I didn't understand that kill streak until I looked at the actual kill feed and realized it was my teammate. So I was like, all right, that was my teammate. My bad, my bad. You know, I felt bad. Plus, I didn't want a full cap on C. I wanted to kind of keep him locked in at C. That's normally how you would play. Hellstorm right there, beasting with the triple feed. That was good for me. <laughs> Hitting the statue. How many of you guys run into statues in Call of Duty? Wanted to address that to you guys. You see a statue, man. I feel bad killing them sometimes because it's like, is that a real kill or is it like a kill that's just given to you? I mean, it just doesn't feel good, you know. I mean, what was that person doing? Were they using the restroom? They should have backed out of the damn game. Made us feel a little bit better if they would have shot at us. Anyway, got that hell, got that, 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 that hell of a damn good kill streak. That warthog. You hear the warthog in the background beasting, giving me another triple feed. I was stoked off that. The warthog, hands down, is my favorite fucking kill streak. The reason why the Warhog is my favorite kill streak is because the Warhog it has your back. The Warhog circles around, comes in, better than a stray from, giving me the round winning kill. I was pretty hyped to see it. I was pretty, you know, stoked to the fact that everybody can hear the L Train's finest had some, you know, some, some I would say, some allies in the air, allies in the sky, if you know what I mean. You see this dude over here. Look at what is he rating for a plane to fucking fuel? Or what, what, what is he doing? What was he doing there? He shouldn't have been there. Look at, look at the beast. You saw the beast just fly by? Shit, I did. Clean him up, trying to capture B. Defend that shit. Let me go ahead and uh, cap that with my teammate. Oh, got the Hellstorm. Beast mode. Take care of your killstreaks first, man. You never know the potential of, you know, you might be able to do something good for your squad. Notice that we had the B flag captured as I did the Hellstorm. I obviously thought that, hey, it helped out the team there. So... My model, my model thing is help out your team, you help yourself out. Yeah, if you don't help out your team, you ain't helping out shit. Right here, I get knifed in the back. Dude did me dirty, dumped my body, he didn't even care about it, man. He could at least pull me to the side, you know, and waited for the cavalry to come, you know, to bury myself. But anyway, this dude I'm shooting at right here in this situation, I had to go around and catch this camper. This dude was waiting for me to come for him. I actually came for him. Fuck him. I ain't worried about him. I know a lot of you guys have been in that situation as well. Now, right here, man, I thought I was going to get a cool-ass moment cleaning these motherfuckers up right here. I don't know I had to reload, switch to the secondary, and I got cleaned up by that dude's homie. Whatever. It happens to all of us. Can't get too upset about it. Got the hell storm. Hopefully, I make the best of it. Going ahead and spawn it right there. Bam, baby. What you know about that? Just got a two-piece. Nothing to be really too excited about, but it is what it is. Still got the kills compared to that first hell storm that I showed you earlier. Now... I'm really not too fond with this map, man. It's not my favorite map due to the fact that the open space is a, you know, a place for people to camp, kind of stay in one spot, and all of a sudden you happen to run it right into their bullets. It, to me, I mean, it's going to take some time to get used to. But enough talking you guys' heads off, man. I'm L Train's Finest from Las Vegas, Nevada, here at Commentary Plus, where plus is more. Please stay tuned. I got more commentary coming up, and thank you for the support. Subscribe and thumbs up. Help a brother out, man.